He's impacted, so he wants to lie down, get more comfortable. What's wrong with that? Well, if he starts to roll over, his intestines could twist. That would be the end of him. I was there when he was born. Yeah, I remember. Come on, up, Belzar. Come on, come on, come on. He's really not doing very well. I wish there was something more I could do. Just being here is enough. Come on. I said you were the one person who understood him. I'm sorry. It's okay. Never happened. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Thanks. I just wanted to pop in and say goodbye. Where are you going? Marilyn, I want to talk to a couple of breeders about rebuilding my stock. There'll never be another Belzar, will there? Probably not. How long have you gone? I'm not sure. It may be a while. I understand. Paul, did I do anything to... No. It was just a moment. I really did a number on both of us, didn't I? Take care of yourself. Paul. Yeah? Everything will be all right. A couple of days ago. Oh, well, why didn't you call me? I meant to. I, I brought some buyers back with me, and they've sort of taken up my time. Well, I'm glad you're back. Thanks. You want to have some lunch? I mean, if you have time. I'd love to. <laughs> oh, I ate too much. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be gone so long. I know. It was a tough trip. The horse business is... I didn't come back because I didn't feel there was anything to come back to. I know. It was my fault. No. I kissed you when Belzar died because I needed to. It was uh, probably not the smartest thing I've ever done. But I'd do it again. Does that upset you? No. It... It's just all very confusing. 
I guess it was just easier staying away than having to face my feelings. That's never a good way to deal with anything. That's why I'm back. I thought about you, too. I missed you, Eve. Congratulations. It was fun <laughs> to see you in action. Well, a horse trader is a horse trader. <laughs> <laughs> How about a brandy? Sure. Two cognacs, please. Thank you for coming tonight. You helped make business a pleasure. Oh, I enjoyed meeting them. How many tin barons can you name? Uh, I'm stuck after Mendoza. <laughs> <laughs> Can you come out to my ranch tomorrow? There's something I'd like to show you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Josh. How's it going? Can't complain. It is behind us. Or haven't you noticed? What is your problem? You're only making it hard on Eve. Well, at least she'll have you to take care of her. What the hell are you talking about? You damn well know what I'm talking about. She's your best friend's widow. If you had any decency, she'd be off limits. You hypocrite. That's never stopped you from putting the moves on her. And whenever he had a difficult decision to make, he would go to a spot in his garden he called the Thinking Pond. Sounds peaceful. What is it? It's a little pool with a low waterfall. I'm thinking of putting one in here. Oh, it's a great idea. It's a perfect spot for it. Nothing wrong with a little instant serenity. I could have used some serenity this morning when I ran into Josh. Why, was he being Josh again? <laughs> he doesn't like me spending time with you, that's for sure. I get the feeling he thinks he has some proprietary right to you. Is there something going on that I should know about? I spent the night with Josh. It happened while you were away. Eve, you don't owe me any explanation. No, I want to explain. I thought there could be something between us. Uh, I was wrong. Well, that makes things pretty clear. It was a big mistake. We all make mistakes. It's part of life. Don't beat yourself up about it, okay? I'm trying not to, but it's pretty difficult. I'm really glad you're staying for a while. So am I. Good night. Good night. She's beautiful, Eve. I know this horse. How'd you get carried apart with her? Oh, you're not the only horse trader in these parts. <laughs> Come on, Eve. She doesn't have Belzar's bloodlines, but I hope you can find a place in your heart for her. I already have. Thank you. I know just what I'm going to call her. What? Eden. <laughs> Good baby. Yeah. Ever wonder what this place looked like hundreds of years ago? Pretty much the same, I guess. Minus a couple of roads and a few dozen power lines. In other words, nothing really changes until people get into the act. Simple but true. <laughs> oh, thanks. Case in point, you see this rail? Uh-huh. If I don't fix it, it won't get fixed. Couldn't you get a ranch hand to fix it? Yes, but I'd rather do it myself. <laughs> Come on, help me hold it in place. This land has given me so much. Every time I fix something, I feel like I'm repaying a debt. That's how I feel about Eden. It needs me. Is that silly? Of course not. That place would fall apart without you. 
I thought it would fall apart without Grant. Don't underestimate yourself, Eve. And if you ever do, I'll be right here to remind you how special you are. There. Done. You're very good. I could always use an extra ranch hand. I don't know what kind of a ranch hand I'd make. I think I have a splinter. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to operate. Luckily, I've got my army knife. <laughs> now hold still. Okay, okay, we get it. You're in love. <laughs> You're so beautiful, it's like a dream. Thank you, Paul. You know, buddy, you really are the best man. I drink to that. A toast to your happiness, today and always. Well, the best man knows when it's time to make his exit. <laughs> Congratulations. I love you both. There. That's Splinter's history. <laughs> Look at Eden. Oh, she looks right at home. Hey, good to see you. I'm glad to see you too. I see you finally took my advice and tore yourself away from the street. No, I wish. Listen, let me buy you a cup of coffee. You can give me the latest skinny on Wall Street. 